Ruben, hi. We're looking at your five scales for your technical work. These five scales, you'll need to play all five of them and the arpeggios at year end. And normally they require us to play half of the scales for mid-year exam. I'm going to do only the grade four scales because it doesn't make sense to do grade three and then lose those grade three scales when you go to grade four halfway through. So even though your technical pieces, or your songs rather, are going to be grade three for the first half, and then your pieces for the second half, grade four, we're going to do grade four technical work straight up for the scales. Okay. I'm going to call out the fret numbers as I play through the scale, and you'll notice that each scale, for example, the A major scale on your PDF file, there's actually two rows. It's the same as for the B natural minor, there's two rows there. We're working with the top row. So we're going to do the one that sounds and looks like this, etc. And not the one underneath it that starts like this. That one's unnecessary stretch and it's not required anyway. So top row for each section. So top row of A major scale again, fret number five. And I'm going to play it through slowly. Pay attention to the finger notation as well. Very important to get the right fingers. It's going to give you good technique and make sure that you play all the other scales later a lot better as well. Okay, here we go. We're going to go 5, 7. Next string, 4, 5, 7. And these numbers are the numbers that are on the tab top row under A major. Next one, 4, 6, 7. Next string, 4, 6, 7. Next string, 5, 7. And we finish off 4, 7. Five. And after that, you come back down. Now, your target speed that you need to play this at for the exam is more or less around the speed. It doesn't have to be exactly the same speed as this, but somewhere close to it. It'll be something like, here we go. One, two, three, four... Now we're going to focus quickly on your picking hand. I would encourage you to use a plectrum for this, not the fingers. I'll explain why shortly, but first demonstrating the pick. We're going to pick down on the first stroke, up on the next note. Down on the next one, up on the next one. So this is called alternative picking or alternate strokes. And it keeps going down, up, down, up the whole way through. And the cool thing with keeping it up and down is we don't have to keep track of down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, and all strange combinations. It's either down, or it's up, or it's down, or it's up, or it's down, or it's up. And you've got a constant rhythm developing with your picking hand. Now, ultimately, I'd like you to be good using your fingers and using a plectrum. And for the scales, I'd like to use this, the plectrum to get used to because I know it is new. Otherwise, you have to do a combination of the fingers like this. And you'll see up close there, I'm just going to turn the camera a bit more round. I'm actually sort of walking my fingers. I get a bit of a different angle there. I hope I don't fall off. <laughs> okay, here we go. First finger, second finger. First finger, second finger. First finger, second finger. So I would rather you use your pick for this over here. It doesn't have to be any specific pick, but any pick that's sort of quite rigid. So not a flimsy, bendable one. Anything that's sort of quite hard that won't bend is good. So one more time through. Watch the stroke alternating. Nice, natural rhythm the whole way through like that. Okay. We'll see you in the next video and we'll tackle the B natural minor scale. Okay.